This time, we will connect the Arduino and sensors attached to the smart farm from the previous session, and connect the smart farm to the computer to do coding. We will code to check the air temperature humidity and soil moisture where the plants are growing through the LCD module attached to the front, and to give light to the plants using the plant growth LED according to the value of the light sensor. The following are the necessary items to connect Arduino and the sensors and to code for them. A pre-assembled smart farm, a soil moisture sensor, a temperature humidity sensor, a light sensor, jumper wires, USB cable and power cable. First, we will connect the Arduino to the breadboard. The plus and minus poles of the breadboard are connected vertically, while the rest are connected horizontally. So, if we plug the jumper wires or sensor pins into the breadboard and connect the cables to the connected lines, they will be connected to each terminal. Connect two male-to-male -male jumper wires to the GND and 5V pins of the Arduino board. Connect the other end of the wire connected to GND to the minus line of the breadboard, and connect the other end of the wire connected to 5 volt to the plus line of the breadboard. Next, we will connect the LCD module. The cable connected to GND on the LCD module should be connected to the minus line on the breadboard. The cable connected to VCC should be connected to the plus line on the breadboard. The cable connected to SDA should be connected to pin A4 on the Arduino. The cable connected to SCL should be connected to pin A5 on the Arduino. Next, let's connect the soil moisture sensor to the breadboard. The soil moisture sensor measures the amount of moisture in the soil by connecting its electrodes to the soil. One side of the soil moisture sensor board has plus minus pins, and the other side has VCC, GND, DO and AO pins. Insert female to female jumper wires into the plus minus pins and connect the other end of the cable to the electrode. Then, connect the four pins vertically to the breadboard. Next, you need to separate the three male to male jumper wires and plug them into the lines connected to the VCC, GND and AO pins of the soil moisture sensor. Connect the other ends of the wires connected to VCC to the plus line of the breadboard, GND to the minus line of the breadboard, and AO to the A0 pin of the Arduino. Now we will connect a light sensor that will detect light. The circular part of the light sensor will detect light, and the pins at the bottom are labeled minus plus signal. Insert the pins of the light sensor vertically into the breadboard, making sure they don't overlap with the pins of the soil moisture sensor. Then, connect the sensor's pins with male-to-male -male jumper wires. Connect the S pin of the light sensor to the A1 pin of the Arduino, the plus pin to the plus line of the breadboard, and the minus pin to the minus line of the breadboard. Next, let's connect the temperature and humidity sensor to the Arduino using jumper wires. The pins on the sensor are plus, out, minus. Insert the temperature and humidity sensor vertically into the breadboard so that it does not overlap with other sensors, and connect each cable to the corresponding line using jumper wires. Connect the minus pin of the temperature and humidity sensor to the minus line on the breadboard. The opposite end of the cable connected to the middle pin to the fourth pin of the Arduino, and the line connected to the plus pin to the plus line on the breadboard. Finally, let's connect the relay module. The left pins of the relay module are labeled signal, plus, minus. Insert the male-female cables into all of the left pins of the relay module. Connect the other end of the cable connected to the S pin of the relay module to the Arduino's pin 3. The cable connected to the plus pin should be connected to the plus line of the breadboard, and the cable connected to the minus pin should be connected to the minus line of the breadboard. The right pins of the relay module are labeled NC, COM, and O. Do not connect anything to the NC pin. 
connect a male male cable to the COM pin. Use a driver to loosen the bolt, insert the male end of the cable into the COM pin, and then tighten the bolt again. Connect the other end of the cable connected to the COM pin to the Arduino's VIN pin. Remember the red jumper wire we connected to the NO pin for the grow light LED? Connect the black jumper wire of the grow light to the GND pin of the Arduino board. If you've done all of this, the circuit is complete. Now, let's download the software to use Arduino. Search for Arduino and click on the top link to access the official Arduino website. If you don't see the official website, type arduino.cc in the address bar to access it. Click on Software at the top to go to the download page. On the right side, download the program that matches your computer's operating system. Click Just Downloads and run the installation file. Click Agree, then Next, Install, and Close to complete the installation. Next, let's install the extension board driver to use the Arduino Uno board. Open the Chrome browser and enter the address that appears on the screen to access the Smart Farm page. Scroll down to the bottom of the page under Arduino Smart Farm Download and download the first extension file. Click Install to install the Arduino extension driver. When a pop-up window appears like the one on the screen, the installation is complete. Next, let's download the Smart Farm source code and library files. Go back to the Smart Farm page and download the remaining four files. The second file is the Smart Farm source code. The third file is the temperature and humidity sensor library. The fourth file is the special character library. And the fifth file is the I2C LCD library. For the library files that are in .zip format, do not extract them. Click on the downloaded smartfarm.eno file and if prompted, click OK. Once the Arduino program opens, we can now upload the Smart Farm source code to the Arduino Uno board. First, connect the USB cable to your computer and connect the other end to the Arduino board. When the board lights up, it means it's connected properly. Once you've connected the Arduino to your computer, let's check the USB port number it's connected to. Open the control panel and click on Devices and Printers. Check the USB port number where CH340 is connected. On my computer, it's connected to COM3. After checking the USB port, go back to the Arduino program and set it up for the Arduino Uno board. Click on the Tools menu at the top and set the board to Arduino Uno. Then, in the Tools menu, set the port to the port where the Arduino Uno board is connected. Since mine was connected to COM3, I will set it to COM3 and proceed. Now, let's add the downloaded library files. Click on the Sketch menu at the top, then click on Include Library, Add.zip Library. Open the compressed file DHT zip that you downloaded. If you see the message Library added to your libraries, please do the same for the other two library files. Finally, we could upload the source code for the Smart Farm to the Arduino. Click the checkmark icon at the top to compile the code, then click the Upload button on the right to upload the code to the Arduino. When the message, Done Uploading, appears at the bottom, it means that the source code has been successfully saved. If the save is complete, please exit the program and disconnect the USB cable. Now, connect the Arduino to the power and check if the smart farm is working properly. Check if the plant growth LED lights up when the brightness decreases using the light sensor, and if the LCD module shows a change in the value when the soil moisture changes. You have assembled your own smart farm by connecting Arduino and sensors, combining agriculture and IT technology. Try growing plants using the completed smart farm and connect more smart farms with kit components to create your own farm system. Then, see you next time.